Hi everybody, my name is Shelly. If you haven't been here before, welcome to the bookshop. If you have, welcome back. Tonight I am just doing a quick video. I wanted to share, um, I've been doing some dyeing and I just really wanted to share the results. These are my junk journal supplies and I dyed them with blackberries. I did a search and I really only found one video it was um, papers and ribbon that was posted a year ago. So I thought it's something different, something I haven't seen. And I thought some people might be interested. I loved doing the avocado dyeing and I know everybody was doing it for a while. And so this is just a way to get another color. I mean, who doesn't love purple? so and it's so simple it's so simple you you really don't need anything um special i mean you don't even need to buy alum <laughs> you do want to mordant your fabric but you can just use salt um, a mordant another word for mordant is fixative it helps the dye stick to the fabric now if you're going to make clothes it would also help so they don't fade over time we don't really have to worry about that because we're using this for covers and fabric flips and stuff and we're not going to be washing it but like i said it it helps it in the dyeing process too so that the dye sticks to the fabric and it was important for me to get a really good strong color if i was going to spend a bunch of time doing this which i have spent a couple days i actually did three batches but We'll start with the first batch. Um, all I did was two cups of berries, four cups of water. You bring it to a boil, not too hard of a boil, just get the heat up there and then simmer it um, for an hour. I think I did an hour and 15 minutes and I turned it off. I did let it sit overnight. That's something I always do for some reason. I just wanna make sure I get the darkest color. I always did that with my avocado dyes. And since it has to cool off anyway, um, just let it, I, I let it sit overnight. As soon as it's cool, you could probably dye. And th the color that I got and the quickness of the dyeing leads me to believe I, I could have done it without letting it sit overnight. But um, so the first thing I did was this piece of fabric. Oh, the mordant. With berries, you use a salt mordant. With other plants and vegetables, you use vinegar. Um, for the salt mordant, it's one cup of salt for 16 cups of water. So if you're doing a smaller batch, half a cup of salt for eight cups of water. And you just, you boil your fabric. Same with the berries. You put your fabric in the water bring it to a boil, turn it down, let it simmer for about an hour, take it out. You can rinse it off a little bit if you want to. You can just take it straight into the dye pot if you want to also. Um, I'm not an expert on this, but you know, I read 20 articles before I do anything. <laughs> so yes, salt is for berries and it doesn't take much. So just berries and water to make your dye um, salt and water to make your mordant and then you just dye it as long as you want until it gets as dark as you want um, with vinegar if you guys are doing any other plants or vegetables or anything I believe it's one to four a cup of vinegar for four cups of water and then uh, rinse it out so I got this plain white fabric and it took the color really well so that was the first thing and then I got this I thought this was white when I first picked it up at the fabric store but then I noticed it had these little flowers this is what it looked like originally I don't know if you guys will be able to see the flowers they're kind of a, a shiny satiny look but I knew as soon as I saw this fabric that this would dye in a two-tone, that the flowers would be a different color. So I was really excited when I saw that. And I didn't want a bunch of this. So 
this was fun this is so fun and then it actually you could use the back side if you wanted a different look too I mean you can still see that it's two-tone but it's darker but I love this I love this this almost looks blue in the background and a lot of the papers you know they almost have a blue look to them too these two pieces are the cheesecloth I uh, strained my berries through cheesecloth, which you have to strain them. But, so, uh, but it's what a perfect way to dye some cheesecloth. This was the first batch. After doing the first batch, I uh, dyed my fabric first and some laces and stuff. And then when I went to do my papers, they were very light. You can see the difference here between this batch of papers and this batch of papers and so i knew i had sucked, sucked a lot of the color out doing the fabric and stuff which was why i did another batch the second batch i only did one cup of berries cup of water didn't have to worry about mordant or anything because i was doing it just to do papers so that is why and then this second piece i just did a little um, I just did this on a, like a measuring cup and I used, um, binder clips to hold it and strain it through. So it was like that. I'm going to show a couple of things, different things to do. And I'm going to throw a piece of fabric and some dye here in a minute. Anyway, the laces, this lace, now when you're looking for things to dye, obviously you're looking for white things. This is a pretty lace, but this is what it originally looked like. It's like a baby blue, but I have tons of this, like 20 or 30 yards. So I was like, I wonder if that'll dye. I'll bet that'll die because the blackberry dye is so strong. So don't forget about that if you're doing something with a really dark dye like blackberry. That If you've got a lot of something, you know, give it a shot. I love how this turned out. It's so pretty. And now I have another color because I will never use all of this color probably in my whole life. <laughs> So that was one of the laces. God, it's so pretty. It's like a lilac, lavender, what do you call it? This is some sari ribbon. Now it uh, looks pretty much its natural color, but it was like this, the really, really faded part of the ribbon almost lighter than this when I dyed it. It was almost like the white part. So it was very, very pale. And so I threw it in the blackberry juice and I got some really nice kind of pink. But that's what I love about this blackberry too. Look at all the different shades of color from the light purples to the dark purples and some pinks. It's just really cool the different colors. Then there's this ribbon. This is one of my favorites, but again, I have yards and yards of this. And this is what it looked like originally. It has this yellow ribbon that runs through it. And whenever I dye it, that little ribbon takes on the color. This is really cool coffee dyed. The ribbon will be a darker color than this. So this looks almost like it's white with the pink, but next to this, you can tell the ribbon did take on a little bit of color too, or the lace part, I mean. It's very, very pale purple. It's not as white as it was, but then I love the little strip of purple color through there. And then this, I'll show you that in a minute. This, one of my favorite laces. And 
this is kind of like this fabric, how it dies in certain spots. Isn't that pretty? How the dye just dies on the edges, on the satiny stitch. And then obviously the mesh part doesn't really take up the dye, but I love that. Love, love, love. I'm almost out of this lace, but I have some in coffee dyed. I have some in avocado dye. <laughs> so <laughs> I've got it in different colors. And then we've got the paper stuff. We've got, I did some um, index cards which died much, much easier than avocado dyeing. Avocado dyeing is really hard to get them to take the color and um, had to sit in there for a long time. These took color very easily. Look how dark these two are, which I did realize that you might not want to do the dark, dark purple because it might be kind of hard to write on. <laughs> you won't be able to see it very good. But even just looking at these index cards, look at the three different shades of purple. I love the way you get really just different colors all from one thing. And then I've got all of these doilies. Again, you know, different colors. Here's one that's really light. And then the different shades of purple all the way to this is like a pink very very pretty some of them eh, not really um there's a lot of stuff especially in certain lights that really look blue okay and then you kind of could see the papers this was the first batch and this was after i had done dyed fabric and stuff and so it was light. I mean, I love this color. This is like lavender or something. The other purple is so dark that they're definitely different shades. But very cool. I think some of this, you might be able to see the blue. And also, I was dying outside and I was laying it that. I don't know if it'll show up on camera, but that definitely looks blue. And then on the backs, can I find some of those? I laid them on cardboard. And I usually I do the, um, like a Pepsi box. Usually I lay it on the blue side, but I had the inside face up. And so it sucked up some of the color. Look at that got to be able to see that blue, right? These blue. That's where it sucked the color out of the paper. I thought that was so unique too. Really interesting. Different shades. This one has different colors, blue and purple. But yeah, I thought that was really cool how that turned out. So those were the dark purples that I got from my second batch that I made up specifically to do purple so I could get some darker colors and these are the light colors so that's all of the dyeing I wanted to show you I've seen there's a video lately Gail was talking about it a few people were talking about it um I can't remember her name medieval mirage she did a video about dying in small spaces like if you don't have the counter space to spread out your papers to die so i just wanted to show everybody i have this and maybe not everybody can do this but i have a couple of these chairs they're little bar stools but they have the the spindles um but if you have any kind of open back where you can tie I just went back and forth with the uh, it's just twine there's a little bit of twine I have some of the little mini clothes pins and it's going back and forth about five times and I can hang five or six pieces of paper on each strand of string so I can hang 25 or 30 pieces 
of paper there to dry and it's in you know a couple of square feet it takes no room and I just came up with that the other day so I thought I'd share that anyone who has a couple of chairs or something similar where they can do that mm -hmm. I thought it was a, a good idea <laughs> anyway oh this is the last lace this is that cheap lace almost everybody has some of this comes from the Dollar Tree and I dyed this I'm the kind of person that wants to get every drop of color especially because I didn't know I was going to do three batches I thought the first batch was the batch <laughs> and so I didn't want any of it to go to waste and so I actually dyed my lace in the pulp I took that lace and I threw it in the pulp and then I took this off and I just kind of wrapped it up and squeezed it there's a lot of juice in those berries and I have with this last batch this last batch I did um, six cups of berries 11 cups of water I couldn't even fit in the whole 12 cups so it was I have so much berry juice now I'm going to show you real quick dying and how quickly it can go so yeah this what did I do here I'll put that in there and that in there and yeah I use the binder clips this is just a ice cream bucket And the other night I put my lace in and I left it for a while and so this is just dripping. I think I let it fall in there. there let me get that. Look at this juice. I've got another bucket that is up to here so I have so much dye I wish someone was here and I could give you some <laughs> I'm going to put on my gloves real quick and show you how quickly this fabric dies I'm gonna do I have another piece of that white fabric this has um, little flowers on it flowers and leaves but it's the same as that other one and it's wet I cooked it in um, some salt water for about an hour so put that in and get now look how pretty that is I'm like oh I want to take it out I want to take it out that's what happened the other night because it was like the first thing I dyed I had done the plain white fabric and then I did the one with the flowers on it and I swear after a couple of minutes I was like okay I need to take it out I want to take it out I just didn't want it to get any darker and you saw you know what color it came out I don't think I would want it much darker than that well, I think it turned out perfect so let's let this it looks kind of red tonight 
I wonder, I had a feeling this color. Oh, I wonder though. See, I have another. I wonder what color this is. Mm. This is the first. It all drained. This was the last of it, and I'm just wondering if for some reason it would be a different color. I doubt it, but... I think it'll turn. Anyway, we'll see what happens with it. Either way, I love the color that it is, too. But I also wanted to show you, let's do these laces. And you see, I'm just getting them covered with the pulp. Now those two pieces of lace, just like the laces I did the other night, those didn't haven't been mordant. I didn't soak them in salt water. I forget about, <laughs> and I just threw it in there. Okay, those are all covered. I'm gonna let it sit for a few minutes, but I wanted to. Let's do. paper okay I'm gonna try to keep it off of that okay so this this is my see there's so much juice in there those laces wow I didn't realize yeah this is wet 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 Pulp seems kind of dry when I was stirring it around. But, I mean, I already got a half a cup of juice in there. Okay. Now look at all that juice that came out of there. That's... So, I just took this and Rub it and rub it as long as you want to get the color. Isn't that pretty? Look at how purple that is. It starts out pink, but I think that looks really purpley there. And you just keep squeezing it because there's so much juice in there rubbing it in Okay, 
Okay. Isn't that pretty? Look at that color. I use a paintbrush and I, uh, where is that? This has some coffee on it, but let's turn this over. And now you can let this dry a little bit and just add more coats and more coats to get it as dark as you want it. And when you use a paintbrush, you will get a much smoother, you know, like, like my sheets. Mine don't have a lot of marks and stuff like this side. But I love this too. This is so pretty. And you could actually just take your um, pulp in your cheesecloth and keep dipping it in the juice and getting more juice on it. And then you know, hang it on your little clothesline, the side. I like how it's going to be two different colors, that kind of purple, and then a more pinky on this side. Very cool. And now let's look at our lace. And this cheesecloth is going to be, see, look at that. This is the blue one. This color is a lot redder. I wonder what I did to make it. This is not the lavender of the other ones. This is red. And then this one. That's kind of harder to see, but if you guys want to hold on for one second, or give me like 15 seconds. Yeah, this is turning out really nice. The one with the yellow ribbon. I love how this is a totally different color than the other one. Oh, I gotta get the blackberries out, but okay, I'm gonna just do that for now. And do that. Okay, we're good. this one they still have a little bit of berries in them there was a couple of pieces but look at that and then this one let me get my oh, I love 
love that color. Okay, and then here's this one. And again, the ribbon, the little satiny strip took the color. Let me, okay, now let's see if I can find, yeah, here they are. I want to compare. Yeah, this stuff has a more of a red tint. And then here's this. Oh, I love that. I love, love. Actually, this has more of a blackberry color, I think. This has more of a, a lilac or something. Oh, I'm so actually excited. I was a little kind of upset for a minute because I was like, uh oh, it didn't die. <laughs> but pretty color, pretty color, two different colors too. I'm so happy. I'm going to have to go get more of this. I was just doing a test because <laughs> I was like, oh, I already have enough of the purple. But now that I see it's two different colors, I'm very excited. Okay, let me get this out of here. I didn't know I was going to really plan to do all of this but oh, it's just so exciting okay did the paper did the laces this okay well yeah I think it's ready do you guys want me to take this out okay okay you got another minute give me a minute give me no 30 seconds or so I'm just gonna rinse it uh, rinse it. I need to get a uh, paper towel. Okay. Bring it out and rinse it real quick. Oh my. Oh my god, I want to dye more stuff this color. Okay. Rinse, squeeze, squeeze. You gotta get the water to run clear. Hmm, that's interesting. Some of the roses stayed white. Oh, maybe I'm looking at the back of the fabric. Okay. Let me just rinse it one more time. Oh, this doesn't have berries on it, so it's easier. Okay, squeeze. Okay, that's good enough. Okay. Okay. Oh, my. I love this. I love this. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. I love the color. God, I don't know. Can you guys tell? It's like um, burgundy or maroon. And then on this side, I think this is interesting too. The roses are pink on the one side. Let's see if I can show half and half. Yeah. Yeah. So this side. The roses stayed white and the background. Now see, that's unexpected too, how that happened because the other fabric did not do that. You know, I have another piece of that fabric, I wonder. See this one, the flowers didn't stay white. They turned purple and the background is like a blue color. The background is like that color. Hmm. I have another piece of that fabric. That fabric. I should dye it too. Anyway, we're at 35 minutes, so you guys probably want to go. This is so pretty. I hope you can tell what color it is. 
There's so much, so much to do with just one little pot of blackberries. You know, fabric, paper, lace, ribbon, index cards, almost anything you can think of in the junk journal supplies. So this was a blast, you guys. Thank you for coming. Leave me a comment, please. I'm new. I need some thumbs up, some subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> okay and I've got more coming I'm doing another color so tomorrow maybe the next day we'll see I gotta clean up this mess I've been dying for three days now oh and one last thing I had a big piece of the white fabric this white fabric that I've been using and so I'm trying to tie-dye I'm trying to tie-dye with one color so it's not as interesting as when you use a bunch of colors, but I don't know how to do it, so I don't know if it'll turn out, but we shall see. And I'll show the results in the next video along with whatever else is new, including the new color. Okay? All right, everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you stayed till the end to see all this cool stuff, because I forgot to say at the beginning that I was going to do this. So, till next time, bye.